and we're back now. So obviously uh, last time we got to the courtyard and as you can see here, um, oh sorry, it's not the right one is it? Um, as you can see here, we have this area that we can't cross over um, and we're going to need a crank, but yeah, we can't use that one. Uh, also, yeah, I kind of finally sorted out the inventory. So it looks alright now, which is nice. Um, but yeah, we'll continue down here. Um, and yeah, obviously we have this door here, which is where we need to go to next. Um, yeah, this is a little bit of a short right area. Um, and again, we have liquors in here, so you need to be careful. That can happen. Is that you, Jill? Yeah. Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah. You're alive. <laughs> Stop. Are you with anybody, Jill? No. What but do you mean, my Why? <laughs> uh, I think her and Chris the stars might be a thing. I don't know. Someone is a traitor. Umbrella set us up. <laughs> 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 Traitor? Who? I love how she gets his name wrong. Calls him Unrika. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, definitely. It takes a professional to shoot someone from around the corner. This is the crank we need, basically, so. Crank two, if you want to call it. Yeah, when you hear that, you know they're dead. Pretty straightforward, really. Uh, yeah, we've got a couple of grenade rounds. I think there's another one here. definitely don't need at this point. Yeah, as you can see, you kind of get a ridiculous amount of ammo in this game. So, yeah, I really wouldn't worry too much about um, wasting it and whatnot, really. Even though they do say waste not and whatnot. Yeah, I, uh... to kill them both with one thing. That was kind of cool. Oh, what was that? Who knows? Probably nothing. this I think if you go down uh, maybe it's not yeah actually okay maybe not um, yeah we'll get back to that in a minute uh, there's a little scene that happens with that but yeah not really yet no, anyway yeah obviously as you can guess already uh, we need to do business with the crank, crank business, 
Sorry, I was not in. Oh my god, are you actually kidding me? <laughs> oh my god, I'm so stupid. Yeah, sorry, I forgot I'm supposed to go slightly forward. But yeah, the uh, trick with this is you need to do it twice. So. If you need it for some reason, you know, we've got a shitload of human lives. It really does matter. I wonder what that could be. Who knows? Ah, oh, this is what I was thinking of. die. <sighs> yeah, now this reveals this area. Um, get yourself some ammunition. And yeah, it breaks the area to allow us to go through here as well, so. I'm just going to call it Phantom. Oh. Yeah. It's weak to fire, if you can imagine that. Um, and obviously, as you can imagine, you're going to be poisoned. If we got unlucky. Yeah, there's one cool thing you can do here. Uh, you equip this. You have to basically. Yeah, let's do this. Uh. I was really hoping we weren't going to get poisoned. But obviously, I'm. Freaking unlucky, aren't I? Oh yeah, thankfully the game's nice enough to give you a healing item, which is cool. Yes. Yeah. Um, obviously, as you can tell, you could have just shot that thing if you want to. Um, yeah, but it's kind of a waste. You may as well just use the knife that they provide you. these games you kind of run around a lot and you have no idea 
where you're going, but you know, after a while you get used to it. Um, anyway, we've got another puzzle with a crank. Um, you noticed something? We have um, that area there. See that thing coming out and you have that crank hole thing over there. Um, we have to basically push this down um, towards there. And then the wall. Then we've got to put it back. And there's this little sort of uh, circle disc thing in the middle there. We basically have to move it so we can get that statue in that section. Exciting stuff, eh? cylinder um, that we're going to need to do that thing um, with the power. So, yeah. steps now. And uh, yeah, I think I killed all the spiders so you don't have to worry about them. If you're worrying about, or well, you're wondering about that sort of um, that holdy thing on the wall there, um, yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. Now let's just dump some items, and because of the Let's Blurs curse, I'm going to save. Save them for later. There, yeah, you can really hoard a lot of stuff here, and that's why I always say, like, you may as well just um, you may as well just use as much ammo as possible. That was really well. Obviously, don't go crazy. You don't need to hoard as much as you think. It's not really isn't that tough. This is it now. <clears throat> so, yeah. I'll 
obviously the shaft and the cylinder combined. We'll just replace the cylinder shaft <laughs> somehow. That makes a difference. And um, what was this again? Mm, give me one sec. You're safe. Yeah, this you guy's too, still knocking about. A noise I heard brought me down here, but I didn't expect to find a place like this. Have any idea as to what might be at the bottom? There's only one way to find out. more monsters. Oh my god. What the hell is that sound? It could be a person. Well, you Jill, should recognize the sound by now. Go check it out. We had enough surprises for one day. <laughs> I'll stay here and secure our escape route in case something happens. Okay. <laughs> like that's like I have the giant magnum that can blow any enemy you know, to bits. Uh, you, you do it, it's fine. Yeah. Obviously, uh, it's the return of Lisa Trevor. Yeah, she basically just sort of runs around this area. Um, I believe that's what we do there. Um, and essentially, there's just like. Basically, uh, we have to come down here. Have I even done this properly yet? No, not yet. Um, so, we have to come back round. Let's see, I do apologise. Uh, I'm a bit rusty. Okay, just one caution as well. I'm just gonna. with me, because uh, obviously Lisa Trevor can absolutely obliterate you, as you can imagine. So basically there should be a door right there somewhere, um, where is it, I think we're going this way, it's straight down here. Yeah, this is the one. I'm so stupid, I just need to go up there. This is very easy to get lost. 
uh, especially if you're stupid like me anyway. But, okay, so um, you basically have to move this box. And I'm sure you can already guess what we're going to have to do with it. Basically, um, we have to move it across and then we have to go back around where we came from. Um, and then obviously that's when you're meant to get that uh, scene with Barry. Just taking the elevator back. Receptive in these games. Right, so now we have to be careful. Make sure that we avoid this lady. Yeah, and obviously, yeah, you've got a green and red herb there if you need it. More likely will, if you're as bad as me. Lisa Trevor is definitely like the coolest innovation in this game, I think. Um, yeah, she's kind of, I think I said this right, but she's kind of like uh, a bit like Absodico and the Elephant Man had a baby or something. You know. Definitely adds the creep factor. Um, I may have said this already, but obviously, you know, this game is great on its own, but you really need to play the original because then. Um, you know, because it plays with your expectations so much, and it, it's kind of designed to be a companion piece to the original. That's kind of why it's one of the greatest remakes of all time, in my opinion. Just because, um, you know, it definitely feels like it's not here to supersede the original. But it's the same thing, in a way. Absolute shit. Uh, but yeah, that's what I think anyway. And yeah, this is uh, this is the item we need. Broken. Damn it. Um, I'm pretty certain um, when Chris, you actually have a functional one, which is kind of cool. Obviously, yeah, you know, Jill has enough weapons. I think you actually get it different with Chris or something. Yeah, um, I guess you can already imagine what we have to do. And basically, go here. Um, and then, obviously, yeah, she has to be chasing us down. Annoyingly. Oh my god. She does have quite the reach, doesn't she? Okay. 
so yeah, basically uh, you're not stupid what you're meant to do. Let's go down and around. Stupid. Okay. Yeah, you just put that in there and then you can just do your thing, pretty much. Ooh, this is creepy, isn't it? Pull the room, loads of dolls. Um, this is basically uh, where Lisa kind of. More snakes. Um, that was basically kind of like Lisa's room. I suppose see all the dolls, because I think she obviously is just actually a child, isn't it? So. Um, yeah, there's something else I have noticed. Another box. Um, and if we examine it. Yeah. And that is the final stone ring. And that's picture of Lisa with the family, which is cool. And I'll let you guess what we're going to have to do now. If you guessed go back to the mansion, you're absolutely right. this time. It is really cool how they um, everything circles back and it's, I don't know, for me I think it's always cool when you return to these areas again. Um, obviously for me I always loved it in uh, like role playing games and stuff, RPGs, JRPGs in particular. And, Go back to the own area. You get to decimate enemies that gave you trouble early on. Uh, kind of feels like that one, because obviously we're much more like equipped to deal with these guys now. So. the crows. I don't know if they combined and transformed it to a zombie and he got rid of the crows or something. Maybe some sort of scarecrow zombie or something. But yeah, so I get to visit the mansion one last time. Um, I think I said this already, but when I first played this game, I completely forgot about the second stone and metal object. So I remember running around the mansion for like over an hour, figuring out what the hell am I doing? And then I 
completely remembered. <laughs> you can remove the stand of that object. something there, so. Yeah, so obviously at the start of the game you meant to hear that um, and wonder what the hell is going on. And obviously that's meant to be a hint as to where to go here. But yeah, um, yeah, we can actually go in here now. And obviously it double asks you because in case you miss something and you want to go back. Yeah, we have a typewriter here as well, which is cool. And again, gives you an ink ribbon. Not an ink ribbon, um, a save slot. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to save now, and we are going to call it for this episode. So, as always, thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, we don't have too much long left of the game. But yeah, uh, as always, thanks for watching, and hopefully catch you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.